Hi, in this video, I will show you how to create this Tacket Dutch rope braid. Before I start the braid, I spray some water to my hair. Next, I take a piece of hair for the rope twist braid. I put it away to wait. Next, I start the dot braid. Take some hair and share the hair piece in three equal sections. Then start the printing sections from side under to the middle. Right under, add hair. Then left under, add hair. Right under, add hair. Left under, add hair. Right under, add hair. Left under, add hair. As you can see, I pancake the edges of the braid during the braiding. Once you've braided a few stitches after the beginning, leave some hair out of the braid. This is for the stacked braid. Then continue braiding just like you did before. Right under, add hair. Left under, add hair. Right under, add hair. If you want to leave some accent hair out of the braid, remember to do it while braiding. Leave another piece of hair for the stacked braid. If your hair is short or very fine, I suggest you to leave sections for the stacked braid a little bit more often. Notice also the shape of the braid, so if your braid is very curvy, you need more these points where you can stick the top braid on the prayed below. What happens to me very often is that on the point where I stop adding hair, the braid will turn on different direction. So that's why I leave usually two strands of hair pretty close to each other's on the point where is my last addings. That's how I can make sure that the top braid will follow the same line with the braid below. Then just continue the braid until the end of the hair. Then I will create the rope twist braid on top of the Dutch braid. Take the section of hair you left out, separate it in two pieces, then twist another strand and spin them around each other to the opposite direction. So twist left, spin right, twist left, spin right, twist left, spin right. Once I reach the point where I left some hair out of the braid, I share the piece in two 
and add one piece to the each section of the rope twist braid. Then continue braiding normally until you reach the next point where you need to add hair. Share the piece in two and add in. Notice that when you add hair to the rope twist braid, you need to twist hair much more than you would usually do. If you don't twist the hair enough before spinning them around each other, the braid will look a little bit messy and the adding point will show up clearly. So if you have this kind of problem, I suggest you to twist few extra rounds hair before spinning them around each other. That might be fixed that easily. Then just continue the rope braid until it's on the same length with the dust braid. Then tie the braids together. And here's the final result of this hairstyle. Thank you for watching this video, hopefully you like it. Have a great day!